What's up guys? Let me show you a simple little trick that you can use to be able to subtract a subtraction like 7 fifths minus a 1. Now, disregard that this is an improper fraction. I know some students are like, I hate improper fractions, do mixed numbers. I'm like, I don't care. We're going to keep things as improper fractions. I prefer to keep things as improper fractions. But there's something I want you to think about. Like, and there's something I want you to always kind of remember about when you're dealing with fractions. Remember when we're subtracting fractions or adding fractions, we have to have the same denominator. So if I was to do like, you know, let's say a 7 fifths minus, I don't know, a, I don't want to do 2 fifths. Yeah, I actually do 2 fifths. If I did a 7 fifths minus a 2 fifths, since the denominator is the same, I just apply the operation to the numerator. So 7 minus 2 is now going to give me a 5 over a five. Five divided by five, how many times is five divided by five? Well, that is going to equal to a one. Now, this is really, really important. Five over five is equal to one. What else is equal to one? What about a three over three? That's also equal to one. What about an eight over eight? That's also equal to a one. So any number divided by itself is going to equal to one. Now that's important to understand when you are like adding or subtracting to an integer, especially if you have one, because this is a problem that you can do really, really quickly just by following this trick. And that trick is when you have 7 fifths minus 1 or adding to 1 or anytime you're applying 1 to a fraction, just rewrite the fraction as a denominator over its numerator. Now again, do we want to pick 8 over 8? Do we want to pick 3 over 3? Or do we want to pick 5 over 5? Well, in this case, since my fraction already has a denominator of 5, I'm going to want to pick 5 over 5. So all I'm simply going to do is I'm going to say, all right, I already know that 5 over 5 is equal to 1, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to change this and you can say as a 5 over a 5. Therefore, now I have the expression 7 fifths minus a 5 fifths, right? Because isn't 5 fifths the same thing as 1? It is, right? And again, you don't really need to multiply that. You can just leave the fraction exactly as it is. But I just want you to understand that these are equivalent. But now this is a fraction with the same denominator, so now I can apply my operation like I did over here, right? You apply the operation to your numerator, and then you keep your denominator the same. So again, by following this simple trick, we have 7 minus 5, which is going to be a 2 fifths.